How interesting. It's so interesting that we don't eat liver over here, or very rarely. Or that, that is unusual really, for people over here to eat liver. That is looked down on, too. Yeah. Like, ooh, liver. It's like a hacky joke from, like, 80s or 90s TV. Like, oh, liver and onions, gross. Um, liver's great. And what I find that there's a lot, I find there's a lot of food in the U S that people just don't know how to cook well. Mm -hmm. And it's just not part of our culinary lexicon here. Right. And this is something I talk about a lot. I, I find it very lame that in the U S this country of extremes, this country where people are so into whether it's entrepreneurship or extreme sports or fighting, we're so extreme with everything, but then when it comes to food, that's a little bit outside of like salads, wraps, burgers, sandwiches. People yeah. are like, oh, I would never eat that. I would never eat that. And it's said with pride, not like I wouldn't eat that because I'm a pussy. They're like, oh, I would never eat that. And that's something I don't really understand when it comes to how many Americans look at food from around the world. And so, I mean, part of my show, really the point isn't to be like, ew, look at this icky, weird food. It's to try to create some understanding and empathy for people around the world and an understanding as to why are people eating this way. Mm. And so when these cultures, it seems like they all go to the organs first. Mm -hmm. like, and you see that in animals too, you know, and you see that in lions, you see that in wolves, like wolves, oh, the, the alpha male always gets to eat the liver. And what did they have any sort of explanation as to why they do this? Did you ask them? So uh, I've seen this dozens of times at this point. I've I've not asked, I, and I have my own, excuse me, my own assumptions. My assumptions would be meat is easier to preserve, period. Mm -hmm. So uh, people have tons of different ways of preserving meat, um, mostly, you know, drying, turning it into some kind of a jerky. Um, but I don't think it's as easy to take a liver or a heart or something like that and preserve right. it. I, I also think it probably has the most flavor because people love getting in on the uh, the stomach too, the intestines, and this is really powerful, potent, gamey parts of the animal. Um, and uh, again, I think people, in, in many places, they've developed a taste for those really intense gamey flavors. Yeah. Ha have you had like beef tripe or beef yeah, sure. intestine? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like menudo. Right. The, the Mexican dish is filled with tripe and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff and I've, i eat a lot of liver i eat liver pretty often yeah 